was very much meant to be a local restaurant. It, it was kind of inspired by the way pizzerias are in um, Italy. Not just a place to eat, but a kind of place to gather, a place that was kind of important to the community. Everything about Forno Vivo was fabulous. It brought fresh food, it brought an open atmosphere, it was fun, it was easy, and yet it worked at all times of day. And I thought, that's a really good place. We sort of talked about the, you know, the fire being at, at, at the heart of the restaurant and the, the design of the oven. We lifted the oven so that people could see into the, the mouth of it and that people could look from the window outside in and see the flames. The pizza itself was, was a great success. Uh, we used to get people coming from all London, really, just to, just to have that original uh, Italian pizza uh, from wood-burning oven. Having seen the way the Forno Vivo become the hub of a you know, community, it occurred to me that a pub would be even better. We were sitting in what was Forno Vivo, what it had become after Forno Vivo had ceased to be, um, and we were having a cup of coffee, and Peter was talking about that he really wanted to open a bar. And he had this idea about a modern reinvention of what a pub really should be. I immediately started thinking about it and started looking for a site. I said, I've got this little idea. I think if you come with me now, walk around the corner, I can show you where I think would make a great pub. We met one summer's morning um, and looked at the site when it was still in its previous guise. And I just walked around with him and said I'd be interested. And next minute, a big pile of plans appear and we made a start. In the summer of 2007, I received an email from a guy called Peter Borgneal saying, um, further to your request for the prospectus in Oakman Inns, please find attached the information you require. I knew obviously of Fauna Vivo and rated it very highly, but I didn't actually know Peter at all. Aikman Street used to be famous for its pubs, you know, the brewery was just behind uh, Aikman Street um, in the old days, it just seemed right that a pub should be brought back there. So I'm reading the um, prospectus and I thought to myself, this reads pretty well. We might get a decent pub out of this in Tring and I made the decision to invest. When we were constructing the extension, there was a conversation of payment and Peter decided it would be a great idea as I had no pension to invest in his project and um, I, I jumped at it. Then the phone rang. The Aikman was getting towards the end of being finished and uh, we literally ran out of budget. We'd got to the stage where the, the kitchen wasn't going to be finished on time. So we had a little meeting and a cup of coffee. Could you uh, bridge us the money to get the Aikman open? And uh, we all decided we'd put our hands in our pockets for a little bit more. I walked into the Aikman and when it first opened, it just bellowed at me, this is the right thing to be doing. It was about creating a pub for a town in a moment and for the people that lived in it. The original idea was always to be part of the community and I think with sponsorship that the Aikman does in Tring and the, in the area, uh, I think that's still, that is still true. From the outset it was, it always felt like a local pub, like a community kind of uh, get together place. Every one of our first five pubs has been refurbished until now. The Aikman's had its turn and it's getting its pizza oven and it's still the flagship of this business, I think even more so after the refurbishment. We've built a company up off the back of one great pub, really. I was one of the first privileged to be here on the opening night. Great food, ambiance, couldn't beat it. I love the Aitman. The Aitman is the beating heart of Tring. It's been here 10 years. We absolutely love it and always feel very welcome here, so we will keep coming for many years to come. There was no formal contract. Uh, it was, it was gentleman's agreement and a handshake in the castle over a beer. 
and I was privileged to be asked, you know, to be involved in this project. I do believe that Peter's got a vision and when he has an idea uh, for something like this, he knows what he wants, wants to achieve and follows it through. He's got a great team behind him and with that great team behind him we've built this wonderful organisation. The Oakman in brand, in my view, will be sustained for years and years to come on the back of the efforts that we've all put in over the last 10 years. It's been a fabulous ride and I've really enjoyed it. Cheers, Pete. Cheers.